وروى عن عن الحسن قال and I want you to I want you to really to pay attention to this now right and this is to those individuals who are obsessed with social media obsessed with media be it television movies be it chat rooms be it Instagram TikTok whatever whatever platform they come up with next who spend so much of your time and your day upon things that when you come your qiyamah at the very least and minimum you will regret because you will have wasted your time and not have done more not not have done that which is a benefit but unfortunately a lot of times you will regret because you would have done that which is sinful but i want you to reflect on the statement al hasan he mentioned he said min alamat al i'rad Allah ta'ala عن العبد from the signs that Allah has turned away from the slave from the signs that Allah has turned away from the slave and يجعل شغله فيما لا يعنيه is that he makes that slave become over obsessed and concerned and busy with that which does not concern them نعم now I want you to reflect on this statement and, and to reflect that الجزاء من جنس العمل that the punishment is appropriate to the crime. Naam, this is not the end, this is not the beginning of the affair. This is the end of the affair. It was the slave himself that busied himself with those things that, that didn't concern him. And because he busied himself with those things that didn't concern him, then Allah allowed him to be busy with those things that didn't concern him. Naam, this is the reality. But this is from the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has turned away from the slave, has turned away from the abd. So it is incumbent that we start our day. Do you know how the people, they talk about time management and things of this nature, right? And they write, you write your daily, you know, you do your daily uh, uh, plan or whatever, what you're going to do today, your goals, what you want to accomplish and so on and so forth, right? How many of us have done something similar to this as relates to starting their day and what they want to accomplish deen-wise? I want to memorize this amount from the Quran. I want to review this amount. I want to, I want to pray these, these, these voluntary prayers, right? Uh, whatever the case is, I want to visit the sick today. I want to give some sadaqah uh, or I have to call, I want to call my parents today, make them happy. Like how many of us start our day and we, and we have a game plan on how much uh, righteous good deeds we want to do for that day. Now, we should. We should. We should start our day thinking and, 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 and looking for excuses to do good. Looking for opportunities and excuses to do good. How can I do some good today? How can I benefit myself today? So that when I go to bed today, I have, a, I have you know, accumulated a lot in my scale of good deeds. This is of extreme importance. What, 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 what adhkar, yani from what, what, what dhikr are you going to learn today? From the, from the adhkar of the night and the day. Which one are we going to work on today? Maybe not the whole thing. Maybe a sentence. Today a sentence. Tomorrow a sentence. The next day after that a sentence. Then you finish it. Then you go to the next one. Shayya for shay. But what, what, what are the efforts that we are putting forward to benefit ourselves?